Hey guys, Mike Caudill, brand ambassador for Go RVing. It's Wednesday, and of course we have another awesome video coming your way. If you followed our video in the fall about winterizing your RV, of course you can see our Winnebago Forza is still in the garage. Um, we've used it a few times over the winter, to be perfectly honest, but today we're gonna be covering off on winterizing, de-winterizing your RV. So we're gonna run you through a full checklist if you've been following the weather. Of course, spring is always that tumultuous time of year where you're still getting snow. Uh, in the western part of the U.S., Colorado, Utah, you're still getting snow. And of course, the northern part of the country. I was talking to a good friend up in Minnesota. They're also getting hammered with cold temperatures and a little bit of snow. But I digress. It's 80 degrees here in Tennessee, and we're ready to talk about dewinterizing. And of course, those in the north over the next few weeks, those temperatures are going to change. So as you get ready to head out there on the road, we've got a checklist for you. The things you might want to consider following along with so that you can get your RV ready for summer. This is Geared Up To Go RVing with Mike Caudill. There are some important steps to take care of, and if you don't want to do it yourself, you can make an appointment at your local dealership service department. They'll handle everything for you, but I personally love to do it myself. And to be honest, it's actually pretty easy to do. I like to know as much about as my RV as I can, so that's one of the reasons I do it on my own. So many times I've actually gone to do something without a clipboard, and I have to go, uh-oh, what did I forget? So in regards to dewinterizing, I found a great blog on KOA's uh, website that gave you a good description of how to dewinterize uh, your RV. But in the case of just about anything RV related, of course, go to GoRVing.com because there's a ton of information there as well. And before you pull out your RV, the number one thing you wanna do before you even move it is actually gonna take you to checklist item number one, which is right here. Chances are your RV has lost up to 3 PSI of air pressure per month. And if your RV is stored outside or somewhere cold, those tires definitely will need air. Number two, sealant. Inspect the outside of your RV for any damages, leaks, or cracks. This is really important. Also inspect the weather stripping around the doors and windows and replace any sealant that is cracked or peeling. And check all body, roof, and slide out seams and apply new seals as necessary. Number three, batteries. If you're like me, you shut your RV completely down for the winter months, turning off everything, including the batteries. So if you didn't charge your batteries during the winter months while it was in storage, you'll want to check on battery life and you may need to recharge or replace them. There are a lot of water components related to your RV with regards to winterizing and dewinterizing. Here are a few things that you're going to want to consider as you get ready to dewinterize your RV. Number one, flush the water system. Turn the water pump on. Open all water faucets, including sinks and indoor and outdoor showers. Allow water to run through the system for several minutes. And I can't overemphasize this. Make sure you do that so that you get everything out of the water system. While the pump is running, flush the toilet a few times. When the water comes out clear, close the faucets and turn off the pump. Then do it again. Take the water heater out of bypass mode. Replace the water filter cartridges that you removed for storage. And finally, dump your gray and black water holding tanks at an official dump site. Number two, sanitize your water system. Close all drains and install drain plugs. You can measure a quarter cup of household bleach for every 15 gallons your fresh water tank holds. But personally, we prefer white vinegar. It's a little better on the environment. Pour the bleach or vinegar into a one gallon container and fill it up with water. Add the mixture into the fresh water tank and fill it. Fill the fresh water tank entirely with potable water. Turn on the water pump and open all the faucets. Three, it's all about gas. It's important to check all your gas lines as well. Look for leaking pipes. Replace propane tanks. Check the gas lines for leaks, and you can even spray a little soapy water on the hose connectors. Open up the gas line and search for bubbles forming. And then last but not least, test all the gas appliances to make sure everything is in working order. All right, so why is Mike on the floor? Well, you got to have a little bit of fun when you're going through the dewinterizing process. We're talking about electrical because I'm right where the breaker box is. One of the breaker boxes, this RV, the Winnebago Forza, has three different breaker boxes. One for the chassis, one for the coach, or the house, and then it has one for external lighting on it. But I digress, right here. So as you get ready to dewinterize, you're going to want to think about all your electrical. My first tip is know where your breaker boxes are. Know where your fuses are at. When you know where those are at, that will eliminate any problems as you dewinterize and when you're out there on the road. The next step after this, well, that's our checklist. Here we go. Number one, electric. Test all electric appliances to make sure everything is working. 
Make sure you're plugged into a 30 or 50 amp source or some appliances might not run and you won't be able to test the system. Number two is engine. If you have an RV that you're driving, you're gonna to wanna to check those engine fluid levels similar to as if you would do it with a car and you're gonna to wanna to top them off as needed. Check your lights and sensors, crank the engine. Are all gauges working correctly? Do all the lights work correctly? Make sure you walk around the vehicle with all your lights on, including your hazards. Windshield wipers, are they in good shape? Well, you gotta check them. And if anything is dysfunctional, take it to your local dealership service department or call RVTI. To go, but I forget this every single year. The person that reminds me is Flora. And I am embarrassed because I haven't got this ready to be fully dewinterized. Your air filter, holy smokes. This is worth it for the video, guys. I gotta be able to pop it out of here. But you can tell it is nasty. Ready? Oh, look at that right there. This is what builds up over the course of your summer adventures. And then in the winter, you kind of forget about it. Change your air filters. Spring is a good time to check that your registration tags and insurance are all up to date. During the winter months, these are things that might slip your mind. And finally, spring cleaning. I know that both Flora and I, we really love to ensure that our RV is ready to hit the road and that it's all cleaned out. So you're almost ready to hit the road. Give the whole RV a good wash inside and out. And make sure you purchase RV specific cleaning supplies to protect every surface of your rig. All right, so you've made it. You've got your RV fully dewinterized. You've gone through the electrical. You've gone through the water lines. You've even, that's right, you've cleaned out your air filters as well. Your tires are inflated. You've given your RV a little bit of a bath. There's really only one thing left to do, gang. And you know what that is. It's time to hit the road. All right, let's do this. Thanks for watching. Mike Caudill, and this is Geared Up to Go RVing.